returns, the god that wields the dark meal near is back, sitting upon his throne of thought, ready to answer your question as the Magnesite movement marches forward to one million subscribers. 66,000 strong! Now, we got a white brother here. One of my white brothers, Magnesites. Him and his Asian wife are having issues, some interracial issues and problems. I usually get this question from black brothers, my black Magnesites. That's the reason why I said white, just in case you're only white, gotta see white. <laughs> so anyway, this is what he says. He says, hey Tyrone, I like your videos and personality, and I had something serious I wanted to talk to you about. And maybe please give me some insight or perspective. He says, okay, I'm 30 years old white man, and my wife is 29 year old Asian woman. We met when I was 15 and became friends, and later a couple. My issue is the negative looks and stares and occasional comments we get when we're out. Whether it be on a date or just doing errands like shopping, we get these looks a lot and an occasional comment. I'm wondering, what the fuck are the comments that you get? I'm black and date white women sometimes, and I'm wondering, because no one's ever said nothing to me. So I'm wondering what the fuck comments you're getting. So... He says, people I have talked to about this who are also in interracial relationships, just tell me to ignore it and don't worry. He said, my wife successfully ignores it and it doesn't bother her, but it does bother me a great deal. Let me explain why. I grew up in Northern Arizona in a town that was about 20% white people, 78% Navajo Native Americans. Now that's different. That's different. I have nothing to uh, 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 relate to in that. That's different. That's interesting. So many of the Navajos where I grew up really hate white people. Okay. They are raised that way. It's part of their culture or what they call tradition, which I guess is kind of similar to religion. Anyways, in school, I had, a, uh, had to deal with racism all the time. And I was often getting into fights. I never started the fights as I'm inherently calm and peaceful, but Navajos constantly messed with me and obviously if you run into a teacher, you're a snitch, so I just had to fight. The fights always started with hostile looks and stares, and those stares are the same I've been seeing with my wife for years now. Every time someone stares at my wife, uh, I immediately tense and feel aggressive and angry. I know it's because of my past, but I can't seem to shake it. There are times when we are in the grocery store where I have to leave because I'm uh, close to violence. Damn, really? Um, so, have you had any issues like this with your girlfriends in the past? How do you deal with it? What do I do to ignore and not care about any of this? Thanks, man. I hope you hit 1 million subscribers. Hope. No, 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 no. No, my dear boy. Expect it. Because it will happen. And thank you for sending me your question. All right, so let's get down to this. So, to answer this question, the first part of your question, have I ever dealt with it in the past? Not really. Um, over where I live, yeah, you get looks from time to time. But that's about it. That's about it. Um, I would get looks from white men um, and uh, black women. Uh, those are the most negative ones that I get. They're never too crazy, though. It's never like, you know, like no one's ever growling at me. You know, I get a stare, that, but in that blank look, there's the subtleties of the human face that lets you know whether it's good or bad. Um... But how do I deal with it? I don't mind. I take it as something that is is just how it is. People stare at things they're not used to seeing. Um, I am a guy that stares for a second whenever I see a black woman with a white man. Why? Because I hardly fucking see it. 
I've said this before in some of my other videos, as far as dating goes, black women are some of the most, what they would call loyal to their race when dating. They, they really do not date outside of their race. So if I see a black woman, like if I have a customer, it's a black woman, and I'll say, she'll be like, my husband will be downstairs in a second, we can start the presentation. He comes down, he's white, though, it throws me off. And I don't care, because I date white women. So it doesn't matter to me. You know, I date all kinds, but yes, I do date white women. So, you know, it, it just always throws me I'm like, oh, okay. All right, well, let's get on with the presentation then. You know what I mean? Um, it doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me at all. And your wife, being a minority, is probably used to it. She's probably dated outside her race before, and she's used to it. And she probably expects it just being a minority in America. You are not the minority, although you did grow up in a city where you were the minority. I get what you're saying. And uh, you had to deal with, you know, people who's laying some of maybe your forefathers took. And, you know, they, they, I, I, you, know you can see it being deep-rooted in. I mean, I, I, I don't really know it, too many Native Americans to sit and talk to them. But uh, I, there is a Native American girl that I kind of know now. And... I kind of always wanted to ask her, like, how does, because she dates white guys, and uh, I always wanted to ask her, and I, and I, you know what, I should ask her, you know, like, how does your, you know, your family feel about you dating white men? Like, is that an issue? Like, is it like, you know, because I'm not even sure what type of uh, Native American she is, but that that's very interesting. That'd be nice if I could get her on the show, but she lives in like, um, she lives in like a. Uh, the Midwest or something like that. But that'd be really cool to get her on. Uh, y'all would love her. Y'all lose y'all fucking mind if y'all saw her too. But anyway, so, um, and last, what do you do to not care about any of this? Well, first, I, if I were, if I were you, okay, I would just get into the mind frame of that's just how it is. Okay, like just get used to it. You're going to get stares. That's just how it is. But I need you to let me know what some of these comments are, man. Like, you didn't tell me what the comments are. I want to know what... You said you get a comment from time to time. What is this shit? In my part of America, I don't hear nothing. That's why I'm like, people have the balls to say shit to you when you're out, when you're at? I, you know, so... Well, first of all, like I said, now, especially if you grow up in a particular type of environment... You learn to expect things, whether they're positive or negative. So I know, for example, a lot of black men who expect the police to harass them. I don't expect it. Therefore, I never get it. I've never once been harassed by the police ever, ever. So I think what you want to do, because expecting negativity is a negative thing. You know, I talk about law of attraction on this channel. You're going to want to start to expect positive things. Start to expect your day to go well, okay? And what I would do to get rid of the violence, the negativity, the anger inside of you that you went through when you were growing up, you go to, um, there's a tapping channel that I was just lo looking at the other day. But I think you can go to tapping.com and then I'll, that'll take you to their their website but it's something called eft emotional freedom transfer okay you tap on certain meridian points on the body and it helps relieve that electric um impulse of anger your body reacts to certain stimulation so what happens is when you hit these meridian points it helps your body to react in a different way okay it disperses the negative energy so you no longer act it's scientific. It's not even like mystical yogi, you know, uh, you know, energy. No, it's the electrical impulses that run from your body and it cause you to get tense. It will help totally keep the body from reacting in the same manner that it always has. So I would do that. Learn that technique because I have used it on a daily basis, depending on things that I was going through. And now in my life, I really don't react to uh, stress in a bad way anymore. Uh, new stresses do arrive, you know, arise, and I handle it with EFT and other things. You know, I, I, I've learned to expect the positive. 
Okay, when, whenever I live life, the glass is half full with me all the time. It's not half empty. I'm half full, I expect the best, so I get the best. That's how it is. You gotta expect the best out of life. I know you've been through some shit. I can't relate because I haven't been through the same thing. The most racism that I've experienced is on YouTube. I have to ban a racist troll every day. You know what I mean? So it, it's, you know, this is the only part of my life where I deal with it. And guess what? Dealing with it has made me so much of a stronger person. Thank you, racist trolls. You know what I mean? It's now it, it's like, you know, water off my back. It, it doesn't even bother me anymore. You know, I've read about certain celebrities getting to a certain level and they get these hate mails and death threats and all these things that is just a, a normal occurrence. Um, I could have swore it was Robert Downey Jr. one time that said he got, <laughs> he like got, he's got like a, uh, some type of satanic letter in the mail. It said, it said something like, take your place in the circle of fire, little man. <laughs> That shit was hilarious. I could have swore it was Robert Downey like years ago, like before he was Iron Man saying this shit. So look, man, what I'm saying is, look, you got to learn to expect the best. Expect the best. Go out and expect to have a good day. Do EFT so you no longer react the same way. Okay? Trust me. It works. I swear on it. All right? Hope I've helped you, brother. One million subscribers. Woo!